Hi, I'm Paul with RockOutfitters.com. Here to show you the Yakima Long Arm. Here we have it installed on this uh, Toyota Tacoma. I'll uh, remove it and go over all the details about uh, how to install it and uh, all its features that it offers. So for starters, we have it installed into a two inch receiver hitch. It's only compatible with two inch receiver hitches. There is no uh, inch and a quarter option for this uh, particular product. I'll go ahead and remove it from the receiver so you can understand how it's installed. So inside the, the two inch receiver, we have a, a weld nut and we have a bolt with threading. And so by inserting the bolt through, you'll get a very effective anti-wobble. Also, the construction of this long arm is aluminum, so it's very lightweight, only 12 pounds. Very easy to store and carry around when needed. So when I insert it, I just insert it into the receiver. I'll use the hitch pin bolt as a feeler to find the hole, just slide inward. And you want to tighten that bolt as far as you can with your fingers, just to fully ensure that it's threaded in smoothly. Okay, and once I have it tight as far as I can with my fingers, I will use the included Yakima 22 millimeter tool to tighten that completely. So you'll notice it starts to stiffen up inside the hitch with very little play or movement between the, the stinger of the rack and the hitch. A very secure connection. So once it's fully tightened, then there is a safety pin that can be inserted there to prevent it from coming loose on its own. As a separate theft deterrent option, there's also a Yakima hitch lock. This is sold separately. Uh, this would take the place of this pin and simply you can pre-lock it, cover the, use the dust cap, and then snap it on. And then that way, if someone were to attempt to unbolt it, this would prevent that and act as a very effective theft deterrent. Okay, so we currently have it set up on this vehicle in a vertical position. It's designed to where you can have it in multiple heights. So there are instances where you want the ability to have gear such as a canoe, a paddleboard, or a kayak in the bed and have this, this tilted down to support it. So to do that, you have this turn knob. You can loosen it by hand You'll notice there's multiple points that allow for various angles. So you just tip this down and then reinsert this, this threaded bolt in place. Okay, now in that position, the tailgate lowers and you can have a load resting on the bed, extended and supported by the arm here. At the end of the arm on both sides are tie downs for straps. So straps are sold separately. Yakima has their heavy duty straps. Those are sold in sets of two. Also, to provide further protection for the gear, for example, if you're doing a paddleboard or a canoe or kayak, you can use one of Yakima's pads, again sold separately. These are also uh, Velcroed with segments, so you can have a pad position on either side of the uh, center support or centered right over the top because it has segments which allow placement of this right over the top. Okay, so this is the configuration you would use when supporting a load that's sitting directly in the bed. So the next, next configuration would allow for use of the Yakima bedrock. And the Yakima bedrock is a rack system that attaches to the bed and extends over and gives you a load support bar. So the next one up, you'll see that it gets to a position 
that's just about in line. So that would be in line. The bedrock sits up about uh, three to four inches over the bed rail and would uh, reach this. The crossbar um, is also height adjustable to fine tune that so you can get it perfectly level. Just remove the bolt, reposition it in one of the three holes available, and that will give you the correct, correct height. Now, in addition to that, you can move it back up to the completely vertical position here, and then in between the crossbar and the lower support, you can purchase separately an additional support which would allow for this entire use to be paired up with a crossbar system that's on the cab of the truck. So if you prefer to carry your paddleboard, your kayak, ladders, lumber, what, whatever it may be, you can have that paired up with a roof rack system and then support it at the back with your long arm when you, when you purchase the long arm extension separately. And Yakima is also conveniently provided. It's very likely that you'll have loads extending beyond uh, four feet from the bed of the truck. And so most states or cities have regulations to mark your long load with a red flag. And Yakima has included a red flag for that exact purpose. So those are all the key features of the Yakima long arm. This product and the full line of Yakima products are available at rackoutfitters.com. Please visit our website for complete details, pricing, and our promotions. Thanks very much for watching.